What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video as requested by one of you guys, I'm going to show you guys the top 5 damage firm slash grinding units in Roblox All-Star Tower Defense. This is purely for damage firm which means it's for infinite mode obviously, you're not gonna damage firm in story mode, though I do that sometimes. But anyway guys, we're starting off in 5th place and that is going to belong to Kirito. Yes, Kirito is still going to retain 5th place for damage firm meta. Just because of the fact that, well, he's still not completely outdated. Of course, he's not meta, most likely not meta anymore for leaderboards, but still. For damage farm, yes, he's still meta because of the fact that he's dealing quite a lot of damage. So he's gonna be in fifth place. In fourth place is going to be Goku God. So he's actually surprisingly low on this list, but that is kind of reasonable given the new units that we have. In third place is going to be Light Yagami. He's damage from meta, but definitely not better than Guts and Vegito. Because, I mean, Guts and Vegito have Light Yagami's level of damage, but with such a low SPA in comparison. I mean, the SPA is high in general, but in comparison, it's low. Now, it took a little bit of thinking to decide which was better, Guts or Vegito for damage farming. But in second place, I will put Guts and in first place, I will put Vegito. Now, some of you may not agree with me saying that Guts damage is going to be more when you include Bleed. But here's the thing, Guts damage without Bleed, okay, is half of Vegito. Uh, yeah, pretty much exactly half. And his DPS is about exactly double, which means even including, uh, if you're including his Bleed damage, it's going to be slightly more than Vegito's DPS. But you have to keep in mind, you have to take into account the fact that bleeding does not stack. Also guys, I actually just realized, for some reason I didn't realize it before, I was like, wait, Vegeta takes up a slot, an extra slot, because you have to bring along Vegeta. But he actually doesn't, because it's not like Gogeta where you have to have Goku and Vegeta and Gogeta. In this case, you just have to have Goku with the God Hearing Orb and Vegeta with the God Hearing Orb, which means, well, you basically are not using an extra slot at all because Goku is still meta. Only if Goku is no longer a meta, then you will be wasting a slot for Vegito. But overall, you're actually really not wasting a slot since Goku is anyway most likely going to be in your loadout. But that is pretty much my explanation for why Vegito should be better than Guts. If you don't agree with me, let me know why in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.